Hey guys, about nine months ago, I got out of silver finally and into the beauty that is gold Nova 1. Big deal, right? Yeah, I thought so too about nine months ago, so I made a video that was five tips to help you get out of silver because there were some things that I learned during my time as a silver 2 to gold Nova 1 player that really helped me get through that bracket, and it ended up helping a lot of people and it was well received. So I wanted to do another one nine months on, now that I'm Legendary Eagle, to help people get through the gold bracket, um, maybe even help silvers, and it actually might be some tips that may help players around my skill level because recently I changed my push to talk key finally. Uh, that's right, I got to eagle, still pressing K. So, the first tip. Uh, we're going to talk about rebinding because that's something I was talking about just now and it's kind of important. So, let me physically demonstrate to you the original key they give you to talk to your team in game. It's K. Uh, you have to reach quite far and if you can see my gangly ass I don't claw hand. It, it's quite far to reach. It means you're not really able to continue moving properly. It's very uncomfortable. Overall, it's a really bad thing to have as your push to talk key. So I rebound that to the letter V. The reason for that is, as you can see, it fits really well. I don't have to move my hand at all. It was naturally resting pretty much there already. So it's sort of the perfect situation. But another tip to do with rebinding would be rebinding your nades. This is a super important one that you should do as fast as possible. This is super important. You should, you should be doing this. If you're not, you should be doing this, quite simply. Basically, uh, if you want to get to the nade you want to get to, you have to press 4, and then you press it until you're at the nade you want. So, for example, you want a flashbang, you're going to have to press 4, and then 4 again to get to it, based on the priority system of the nades. Um, unless you want it to press something like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 0, which, as I'm sure you can work out, is also quite far to reach and not comfortable and doesn't work with gameplay very well. So you want to rebind those. Uh, personally, I rebound mine to some buttons on my mouse, like mouse 4, Four, five, six, you know, um, just makes it easier. But the point of this is you need to find something, a bind that works for you. So instead of having to press 4 until you get to the nade you want, you can just press the one button that you like to press. It could be, I don't know, G, and that'll give you a smoke grenade. Um, and then you instantly have the nade you want. You save yourself, even if it's just one second, one second can make everything count, especially with flashbangs. If people are rushing you, you need to get to that flashbang immediately. You throw it, you save yourself, whatever, just the faster you get that flashbang out, the better. So rebind your nades to something more useful. Like I said, I use my mouse uh, buttons because they're just there right on my hand, always. Next up, let's cover wall banging. Now, I'm sure most of you know what that is, but let's talk about it just in case you don't. Wall banging is the act of shooting someone through a wall. You may not have known anyone was there. You were just spraying through it. Or maybe you did know someone was there, but not exactly, and it's kind of luck-based. Um, but yeah, it does work. And especially in competitives, being able to take someone out of the game without having to lose any of your own health is a big deal. You should try this. So on every map, there are some good wallbang spots. I'm not going to be able to show you them all, but I'm going to show you some examples of them. Uh, there are some on Mirage, Cache, and I believe we also cover some on Overpass. But basically, the idea is that you know where people are going to be. You can listen out to where they're going to be. You know where the people like to rush. You could spot patterns in their gameplay, like the person who usually peeks mid or whatever. And you can hopefully spray them down or shoot through the wall and take them out. There are many situations where you want to be able to shoot through the wall but the big thing here is just giving it a try take this example on cash tons of people run around in checkers and let's pretend you're a ct trying to hold b site you know they're pushing into b site your teammates maybe have called that they're in checkers or you know there are based on sound of what you've seen and the idea is that someone's in this box area you can actually spray through this wonderful grate next to the upper or heaven uh, entrance ramp and basically you can just hit them for some good damage or maybe even kill them without them being able to do anything to you you know that's a really big deal and it could be crucial in winning that round these are just some things that you should try um this again is really for people who don't try it at all or don't think about it give it a shot look for these spots on the map go on offline mode and run around on the maps and see if you can find them uh play with friends ask advice you know watch pros they do a lot of wall banging it's a good thing to do i recommend it 
Okay, so this next tip is about scoping. It could be with an AWP, it could be about, I don't know, a scout or an auto sniper, whatever. The point is, you are in a one-time scope and you want to get out of that one-time scope. It's a really obvious trick, um, but it is something that I started doing around, I don't know, MGE level um, because I just didn't think about it. So hopefully this helps someone, you know? So yeah, basically you want to get out of your one-time scope and you just... Right click, right click, and you're out, right? That's too slow. That's way too slow. You're going two times, you're risking a lot. It's just not worth it. Here's a simple trick. You just swap to a different gun, you swap back. You could just press QQ, for example, which will swap to your knife or secondary, whatever, and then back to your main weapon. You can do that in half of a second, it, not even that, and it, you're suddenly back out of your scope. You don't have to two times. Quite a simple trick, honestly, but it's something that uh, really helped my gameplay and I only started doing not too long ago. So hopefully that helps someone. Let's talk about the best weapon for that situation. Now what I'm talking about are the many times in gameplay where someone is really hurt and you need to kill them by just hitting them anywhere on the body with anything. You could just shout out like a bad word and they'll die, you know? That's how hurt this person is. So you want to use the best weapon for that situation. And that would be something that shoots fast really fast and this is where we're going to cover specifically the glock and its burst fire mode i must see like one person in 500 people who uses the glock ever using burst fire mode yet you see pros doing it plenty of times yet I don't know, the general population of matchmaking doesn't seem to do it. Um, and I've only just started doing it as well. Basically, you know someone's hurt, you know they're really hurt. If you have a Glock, put it on burst fire and just shoot three bullets faster than any human could physically shoot them. And then they're dead. Perfect, right? I, I don't know. I just don't see people doing it. You could be running around with an AWP and then there's someone really close to you and you know they're hurt. You know they're about to peek that corner that you're at or maybe you need to peek the corner on them. You can just burst them with their Glock. It's super easy. Here's an example of me doing it in a real game against a real player. It just worked, you know, because they were hurt and I didn't have ammo and I didn't really think I had time to reload so I just burst them down really effectively you know use the burst fire use the best weapon for the situation and never you know forget that every gun has its purpose in certain situations and there you have it guys that's all I've got for you today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did do leave a like uh, if there were any tips that you thought that could have been included in vid this video but were not then do leave it as a comment you could help someone you could help myself you could uh, even have that tip included in a future video maybe you know it's just a good idea we're a community where we like to help each other so it's a good idea let's try it as always the music used in the video will be in the description and you can check out my patreon which is also linked in the description if you'd like to spot me this channel of future videos of this nature Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time, guys.